for today's topic the graph of y is equal to cos x okay here i am using the values 0 for x 0 90 180 270 that is all very multiples of 90 that various i am taking for x then uh, you can use calculator and you can find the corresponding value of y that is sin cos 0 what is cos 0 cos 0 is 1 and cos 90 0 cos 180 negative 1 that way we can complete this table then here in this case here x axis uh, the values 1 centimeter represent 90 degree and y axis value 2 centimeter represent 1 unit okay now check here here i took some values of cos that is cos 0 we know cos 0 is 1 and you can use calculator and find this value cos 30 cos 30 is 0 0.87 cos 60 0 0.5 and cos 90 0 now you can check from this value 0 degree to 90 degree the cos value decreasing from 1 to 0 the next step 120 120 case cos 120 case the value 0 0.90 0 0.5 and cos 150 case value negative 0 0.87 and 180 case values ne value negative 1 then again from 190 to 180 case also the value decreasing from 0 to negative 1 the next step from 210 then 210 the value is 90 0 0.87 the value is increasing the 240 value negative 0 0.5 and 270 the value 0 then you can use calculator and next day the remain part also you can find and you will get well, that part is increasing from 180 to 270 is increasing okay that means from 0 to 90 the values are decreasing and 120 to 190 to 180 values are decreasing but from 180 to 270 that time values are increasing then we can check the graph that is graph is the graph of function y is equal to cos x then from here first one is you know cos 0 cos 0 is 1 then from 0 to the value 0 to 90 that time the value decreased from 1 to 0 from 1 to 0 here is clear 0 to cos 0 to cos 90 decreasing from 1 to 0 it's decreasing from 1 to 0 the next 90 to 180 again it's decreased to neg negative 1 from 180 then from here is increasing 180 to 270 is increased to the value 0 then 0 to 270 to 360 is increased to the value 1 then now you can check from up up to that part that is now we completed 0 to 360 then from 360 to 720 from 360 from 360 to 720 this part again is same as is same as which one the same as this one u shape curve the same as 0 to the graph is same as 0 to 360 that the repetition is coming from 360 to 720 the graph is same from 360 to 720 the graph is same then that is a u-shaped graph you can see you will get the idea from here that is graph is coming like this then we know then 0 to 2 360 also the graph the same graph the same type graph it's a repetition is there in from 360 the multiple of 360 you will get the same type graph then then from here we know the value the greatest value of cos is 1 and the lowest value of cos is negative 1 that means the all values of cos in between one negative 1 and 1 okay the next one solve the following equations that is a cos equation is a we have to find the value of x that value in between 0 and 360 in each case we will get to solution here we are going to use some tricks then i'm going to explain that one how to do this type question then here there are two questions one is cos x is equal to 0 0.5 that is this 0 0.5 is positive that's why i took here positive the next second question cos x is equal to negative 0 0.5 here this value is negative say negative that's why in both case we are doing in different way that's why then first one cos first you have to find cos inverse 0 0.5 in that case we will get by use cal, by using calculator you can find cos inverse 0 0.5 cos inverse 0 0.5 is 60 then next one is the next one you have to find the other value now we know one value is 60 to find other value that you use 360 minus 60 that is 
300. Okay, then in positive case, always use this one. Uh, first, you have to find the value by using cos inverse. Then after that, subtract that value from 360. Then you will get the next value. You can use calculator to just check this value. Uh, what is uh, 360 minus 60? What is 360 minus? That is 300. That is what is cos 300? You can, what is cos 300? You will get the answer 0 0.5. That are the two values. One value, the solutions are 60 and 300. Then in negative case, negative case, we are using First, you have to find cos inverse 0 0.5, not cos inverse negative 0 0.5. First, you have to find cos inverse 0 0.5 positive value, cos inverse 0 0.5, not negative 0 0.5. First, you take the uh, without sign that is 0 0.5 positive value. That way, we are doing first. Then, we will get the answer 60. Then, it's not x is equal to 60. This is not x value. That is, we, go, we will get the value is 60. The, you will get values a 60. Then we have to find the solution. That I am going to explain how to find the solution. To find that solution, first you have to find 180 minus 60. 180 minus 60 and you have to use 180 plus 60. That means from here we got one value. That value 190 plus that value, that is one solution. And 180 minus that value, that is other solution. But to find the solution, 180 minus that value. That's one solution. 180 plus the value, then you will get the other solution. 180 minus 60 is 120. Then to find the other solution, 180 plus 60, that is 240 is the other solution. You can check what is cos 120. You will get 90, 0 0.5. What is cos 240? You will get 90, 0 0.5. Then that is the way to find the solution in negative case. Here it is not x is equal to, the, you see here in this case cos inverse, you have to find cos inverse positive value, that is cos inverse 0 0.5, that value is 60. The solution is 180 minus that value and 180 plus that value, here the solution is 1, the solutions are 120 and 240. Then that means the solutions are 120 and 240. You can check by using calculator what is cos 120 and what is cos 240. Then both case you will get the same answer. See, in both case you will get the same answer. That answer is negative 0.5. Thank you.